Hey YouTube, John here. Have you ever taken a moment to marvel at the wonderful simplicity of a cup? I mean, just look at it. It's basically a hollow cylinder with a flat bottom that holds a liquid, but readily pours it out when you tip it. But there is a problem with cups. How do they work in space? Well, in short, they don't. Or at least that's what everybody thought, until a crafty astronaut named Don Pettit whipped out his inner MacGyver to prove everyone wrong. Here's how he did it. Pettit, an avid coffee drinker, was tired of drinking his morning brew out of the drink pouches that NASA supplies astronauts. So he found one of his flight manuals, tore off the plastic cover, and using a little bit of space tape, he fashioned it into a teardrop-shaped cup. Now though this cup doesn't do much on Earth, when put in the zero gravity conditions of space, something pretty amazing happens. Due to the adhesive forces between the water molecules in the cup and the cohesive forces that exist between the water molecules, the liquid is actually wicked up the narrow angle of the cup. The angle needed to achieve this effect can be found using a simple calculation. Assume that this is a cross-sectional view of the zero gravity cup and that the angle of the cup's narrow side is represented by the Greek letter phi. The value of phi needed to allow water to be wicked up the side of the cup can be expressed by the equation phi is less than 2 multiplied by 90 minus the contact wetting angle of water on plastic. The contact wetting angle simply being the angle which a droplet will make to the particular surface that it's resting upon. By looking at the contact wetting angle of water on plastic, which happens to be about 75 degrees, we can do some simple math to determine that the angle needed to achieve proper water wicking is less than 30 degrees. And what I think is the coolest part of this whole story is where Pettit got inspiration from. It turns out that the same technology used in this cup is the technology used to wick fluid up the side of spacecraft fuel tanks. Once again, going to show how amazingly brilliant our astronauts aboard the International Space Station are. Hey, if you thought this video was cool or you learned something from it, subscribe to my channel for more videos like it. I post new ones every week. Oh, and until next time, never stop learning.